Hello, everybody. Welcome back to my Learn Scratch channel. And today I'm going to show you how to use the arrow keys in Scratch. So let's go ahead and get started. So we're going to go ahead and first start to click create. Don't mind about the messages, though, because I have some followers and those followers are telling me, messaging me. So anyways, now here you will come to this site and actually yesterday was clone day. So happy clone day to you that who have made lots and lots of projects about clones. And uh, I'll give lots of credits for those of you if you are my followers. So anyways, let's go ahead and start. So you can delete the catch bite. You don't have to delete the catch bite, but I'm just going to delete it for now. Now let's pick it up. Let's pick a backdrop. I will pick the boardwalk since it's kind of like left right. We want the cat to go up. I don't know if we do that. On my next video, I'm going to show you how to make your own sprite. And then um, in that, I'm going to show you how to make a rainbow sprite. So don't forget to check that out right after this video today. So anyways, I am going to show you now. So let's go ahead and pick a sprite. You can pick any of these sprites, but I will just go with Ben. So Ben is a character sprite with many of the costumes. I'll show you how to animate a sprite with these costumes on my next um, video too. Uh, after the video that I just said, I'm gonna make my rainbow sprite video. So let's drag Ben to a circular secure place like he's going to stand here and then uh, like run he's not supposed to run he can do this or like this his head is supposed to come down so you can put his head down okay now that's better he is down we can do this costume because his head is down i don't know why his head is up but yeah it's just ben Okay, now let's go ahead and get started with the code. So if you want, there are two ways to use the arrow keys. You can use this when space key pressed and change that to any of these keys because if you press, for example, uh, something might happen. If you do that, it's gonna switch costume to Ben B. So if you press the B key, it's gonna a uh, switch costume to that. So uh, anyways, I'm going to just switch costume to Bendy because its head is not up. It's just, just down. So anyways, now what you're going to do is there are two ways. You can do that or you could do one green flag click. And there is also one more thing in sensing. In the sensing area, there is a key space press. And if you click on that space, there will be many other keys. So you can do either ways but i'm just going to go ahead and stick to this way because it's much more it's much more interesting than the other one space he pressed in the event so anyways we're going to drag that out of one green flag click i'm going to put it there but it doesn't seem to fit on the key space pressed so what you are going to do is we're going to go to the control in the control there is a block called an if then block an if then block makes something happen when if something happens then what happens is something happens here so that is what the block is used for now we can put it in this little block space here and you can change this to up arrow or down arrow or right arrow or left or arrow i'm gonna keep duplicating you don't have to keep duplicate duplicate is when you click on this when you double click then there will be a little thing you can, there can be comment delete block or duplicate when you click duplicate it just duplicates that block so uh, how to do that is um, that is how to do that. So let's go ahead and say left arrow. And then we're going to make another one. Duplicate that. And say right arrow. Now I'm going to duplicate that. Just duplicate it. Doesn't happen. Nothing happened because there's no code in it. So it says up arrow. And then down arrow. You can use 
any of these arrows. I'm not really sure what you'll do, do, but yeah, if you checked out my animation, how to create your own animation video, you can probably get an idea. I don't know why there are two right here, but he's pressed. I think I just duplicated that or something. Okay, anyways, now we are going to do something. So when you go to motion, this is motion project where you use motion blocks. So instead of using 10 steps or a negative 10 step, we are going to go down. So here, as you can see, there will be these four blocks. Change X by 10, set X to 16 or zero, change Y by 10, or set Y to negative 32 or zero. So, now, what we're going to do is how to go. So what are these X and Y? So as you can see here, X is left and right. And Y is up and down. So we're going to keep using that. If you use Y by 10, it's going to go like up. And if you change Y by negative 10, it's going to go down. So if you use a uh, change X by 10, it's going to go like it's gonna go right if you do change x by negative 10 it's gonna go left so now let's go ahead and start off with the change y by 10 since there's only left and right you can put it through the up and down if you want you can change it anyway i'm not really sure how you will do it because i'm not seeing what you're doing right now this is just a video and you're just watching it so now what you're going to do is you're going to click on this white thing and then you're going to just type 10. Yeah, you don't have to type 10 because 10 is already there. So now we can put that in that little opening space where you have to do all the code. Now on this right arrow key press, we are going to drag out another of those blocks. You can duplicate it if you want, and then you can put those two inside. So instead of putting change X by 10, like this one, it'll go, uh, if you click the right arrow key, it's gonna go left. That's kind of awkward. So what you're gonna do is now it's time for the negative numbers. So when you click on this thing, you are going to type negative 10. So that is going to be what you're going to put for the right arrow key pressed. Now for the up arrow key pressed, you're going to use a Y this time. So drag out two Y blocks and you can put one as negative 10. Now change Y by 10 is up. I just told you, right? Should I show you? Yeah, see that? But then just went up. You want to see? See, he's going up you just going up so and change y by negative 10 is down so we're going to put that in the up arrow key press space and we're going to put this change y by negative 10 block in the down arrow key press now if i press the arrow keys then we'll move watch wait it didn't work i don't know it's not working may work for you. Oh, I think you have to click the flag and then that will happen. Maybe you have to click the flag and then do that. Okay, so now let me show you the other way. Now, when you go to space key press, drag out four of these again. Just drag out four, okay? You can duplicate them or you can drag out. Now we're gonna do that same code. I'm gonna do the same thing like how we did with the if then. Now we're going to see change by by 10, negative 10, ten that's down, that's up, and then that's X. You can change that to 10, and it goes left, then change X by negative 10, and makes it go right. Okay, so let's go ahead and test it out. So, 
So that is how you animate and use the arrow keys in Scratch. I hope you enjoyed this simple tutorial and I will see you next time. Bye guys.